Our second final race from Weather B is the Dalton Knobs is Chase. It's great two female one great start with Darren Thompson, Cloak Magic Liam and Mensbeck, our central fount in Honey Jared, Magic Word, Craig Beckwith, the Phalax and the Wild Witch Joshua Sutherland, Widow Rock Lubber, Honey Jared, Sir Aldo Safran, Darren Thompson, Spherical Lady, Jim Mary, Tuck, Take Back Mare, Podbarissa and the David Uli trained. Wild Rose, the orders and our three miles won the token of this chase. Uh, prelude to next week's Charlton Festival, a rehearsal for the big RSA chase there. Well, they jumped the first, they all jumped it safely, and Great Sadler, it's a biblical lady on the inside, and Sarada Safran, the Wild Witch, they jumped in the ditch, they all jumped it safely. Training is looking at this race, it's on every ground hall, will be every at Charlton next week. We'll have to wait and see they jump in the next couple of big races this week. There's also next week's big festival, on the best week I think in the league myself. I know the flat experts think this, that's probably the, the great American festival at the end of the season. I don't. Martin. I think the Derby is the best race in the league. I just think the Chapman Festival is the best meeting in the league. And also the Grand National, of course. Great Sadler leads by an effort out from the Wild Witch in second. The Breeders' Cup, that's what I've been trying to get out there. American Festival. You see, I'm not really into the flat racing abroad like Mr. Morgan used to be. You know, he's just doing jumping this so He does one or two or so the flat, doesn't he, Mr. Morgan? This year. I'm sure he'll be back next year on the Paul Rhodes, of course. Another man who lives and breeds flat races. He's sure to come back stronger as well. Great sad that. Two lengths clear from the Wild Witch. Trained by Josh Sutherland, he's one of the new kingpins these days, or oh, Josh. Both codes as well, he loves both codes. Leon, of course, he loves his jumpers. His jumpers are mostly better than his flat horses. But Vinnie Gerard has really grabbed the jumping as well now. He's always concentrating on the flat, but he really has got some good jumping. He's got a good jumping yard now. And as I want to top the trainers. And the likes of me and Martin are just plodding along in mid division somewhere. It's been a bad season for the Pontypool Racing Jumping Yard this season. I didn't have a bad season last year. This season has really turned up badly. And that's because you don't do much, you don't put much into your breeding and into your game. You get bad results. Great sad that jumps that one clear of take back mare talk back mare sorry should know the name of it it's my horse the Palax jumping this one on the outside and goes into second now widow walk lover is some I can't see that she might be that one might be in the bunch here look there she is right other way the field just headed into the side <coughs> jumping the next and the great Sadler by two lengths from Seraldo Safran for Darren Thompson's rad. Then the Palax and the Top Bat Mare. Then he's the Wild Witch. And Cloak Magic and then El Central Fountain and Spherical Lady. Magic Word. Wild Rose held up towards the rear for David Uli. And Window Rock Lever closed that gap now. And decided to take those orders. They're going to swing down the far side for the final time. And Great Sadler leads by a length from the Saraldo Sapon in second stable mate. And then another pair of stable mates in the Phalanx and the Royal Witch. And as I said, that cloak of magic made me look stupid and moved in between them. Oh, well, we lost one then. That was El Central Felton and shifted his rider. Head in the woods and ditch. And as he do so, Great Sadler jumped that one well. A uh, half lane from Salado Safran in second. Then Magic Word on the Phalanx. Going towards the next. 
And there you got pop up to Musselburgh next for the last race of the day for the Scottish Champion Chase. This this day of the two day meeting of Musselburgh. So we'll come to you tomorrow there for you. I jump in the next. I jump in that one. The Scottish County Hurdle of course. So well the South Front by about a left of Spherical Lady and Great Sad and Wild Rose. It was good to have a winner yesterday in Yigrit in the Imperial Cup. I was really made me smile. Last saw her four when she was a four year old, seven year old to come back and win the Imperial Cup after missing for three seasons. So yeah, that that game must have, that she must have been born no, two and a half, three years ago. So rather happen. Spirical Lady jumped that one. Great Sadler. I think that's the best winner gun jumps this season is the Imperial. We'll go for the county hurdle now of course to the double. I hold that one so well the south front leads by left. Here comes Coke and Magic now. Uh, here comes on the far side the Wild Witches make a gun. They jump in that one. That may be the second last. You've got one more left to jump. So well the south front. But here comes the Wild Witch now to put on the challenge. And they come to it. And although she jumped it so easy, he jumped into the leap. But here comes the Coke and Magic trying to fight back. But he can't. And up towards the line the Wild Witches drawn away. Two or three downs to Good two wins in a row here for Josh. I don't know if he's had any of you on in the day, but he's had two of the two I've been commentating on. And both have won very impressively indeed. I might start the favourite for next week's big Norwich chase over three miles. The Wild Witch wins. Look, a magic. I need to improve again. But